how do we design an 8 is to 1 multiplexer? Now 8 is to 1 marks means that there are 8 input lines. So this is an 8 is to 1 multiplexer. So we have 8 input lines. Let them be I0 to I7. And there is a single output. Let this be Y. Alright. So since there are 8 input lines. So therefore let the number of input lines be n which is equal to 8 and this is nothing but equal to 2 power 3. So we would like to find out the number of select lines. So how many select lines do we need? The number of select lines m is equal to log n to base 2 which is also equal to log 2 power 3 to base 2 or it is 3 log 2 to base 2 which is 3. So since we have 8 input lines, I need 3 select lines to select one of them. So let the select lines be S0, S1 and S2. Okay, so S0 is the LSB and S2 is the MSB. So let them be the select lines. So I have the select lines. So let this be S2, S1 and S0. So since there are 8 inputs, we need 3 select lines. So let us see what these select lines should be. So I have S2, S1, S0 and the output here which is Y. So since there are 3 select lines, so they can be 0, 0, 0. They can vary from 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1. So when they are 0, 0, 0, the output is I0. 0, 0, 1, the output is I1. 0, 1, 0, the output is I2. 0, 1, 1, I have I3. Next, 1, 0, 0, we have I4. 1, 0, 1 is I5. 1, 1, 0 is I6. And 1, 1, 1 is I7. So what does this two table mean? When the select lines are 0, 0, 0, I0 appears at the output. So I0 can be 0 or 1, that appears at the output. When it is 0, 0, 1, I1 appears at the output and so on. And when it is 1, 1, 1, when the select lines are 1, 1, 1, I7 appears at the output. So I can write the expression for Y. So what is the expression for the output Y? So I get I0 when you have S2, S1, S0 being equal to 0. Right? So I have the output Y which is I0 when S2 is 0, S1 is 0 and S0 is 0. So it is S2 bar, S1 bar, S0 bar into I0. So I would get, since I have a bar, a complement on top, it's going to be 1, 1, 1 into I0. So whatever appears at the output will just be I0. Plus, so I have 0, 0, 1. So it's going to be S2 bar, S1 bar, S0 into I1. Plus, for the next one, it's going to be S2 bar, S1, S0 bar, I2. Plus, for the next one, it is 0, 1, 1, S2 bar, S1, S0, I3. Plus, I4, I have S2, S1 bar, S0 bar, into I4. Plus, S2, S1 bar, S0, I5. Plus, what do I have? 1, 1, 0. S2, S1, S0 bar, I6, plus S2, S1, S0, I7. So this is the expression here. So how do I implement this? Of course, I need AND and OR gates. Isn't it? So now, let me consider S2, then I have S1, and then I have S0. I need S2 as well as its complement, isn't it? So let me draw a line for S2. I need its complement. So pass it through a NOT gate. So this is going to be S2 bar. So similarly I have S1. And then I have S1 bar. Pass it through a complement. I get S1 bar. And then S0. Again pass it through a NOT gate. A complement. I get S0 bar. So first expression is S2 bar, S1 bar, S0 bar, along with I0. Pass it through an AND gate. So next would be S2 bar, 
S1 bar and then S0 and then I have I1 pass it through another AND gate next I have 0 1 0 so 0 is S2 bar next S1 and then I have S0 bar I2 pass it through another AND gate and next I have 0 1 1 so it's going to be S2 bar S1 S0 and then I have I3 pass it through another AND gate and then I have four more AND gates I need four more so it's going to be S2 S1 bar S0 bar so I have S2 S1 bar S0 bar and then I have I4 pass it through an AND gate and then I have 1 0 1 so it's going to be 1 0 1 I5 pass it through an AND gate next 1 1 0 that is S2 S1 0 is of course S0 bar and then I6 pass it through an AND gate and what about the last one? The last one is 1, 1, 1. So it's just going to be S2, S1, S0. So I have S2. Then this is S1. And then S0. And then I have I7. Pass it through another AND gate. So now what do I do? I have to OR all these expressions. So I have an OR gate. So possibly an 8 input OR gate. So pass all of them here. So I will get the final expression which is y. Okay. So when the select lines are 0, 0, 0. So what happens when the select lines are 0, 0, 0, I get 1, 1, 1. Okay. As the inputs to the first AND gate and all the other AND gates are disabled because one of the inputs to the AND gate will be 0. So whatever appears at I0 will appear at the output Y and so on and so forth. Okay. So apart from this, we also can include an enable. right? I also can have another input E enable. So this enable can be another input to the AND gate. So what can be done is I can have another input E which is a common input to all the other AND gates and we can call this as E. So if E is 0 then the MUX is disabled and if E is 1 the MUX is enabled. Okay, So we can include E and that is optional, it depends on the requirement. So this is how we can design an 8 is to 1 multiplexer. So remember that based on the input we select the number of select lines so that is defined by log n to base 2. So since I have 8 inputs, I need 3 select lines. And then we write the table here. And based on the table, we write the expression. And then we do the designing for an 8 is to 1 multiplexer. So this is one method of designing an 8 is to 1 multiplexer. Now is it possible for us to design an 8 is to 1 multiplexer by using 4 is to 1 marks and 2 is to 1 marks? Yes, it is possible. So how do we do that? We shall see that in the next video segment. So make sure that you do like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get notifications of further uploads and thanks for watching.